Hey there guys, it's Metro and the long awaited UI video is finally here. I've been putting it off making it because I really didn't want to make an incomplete version and I'm still really hesitant to upload this because I know for a fact that I'm going to add stuff to this. So if you're watching this well in the future, months from when I uploaded this, there's probably going to be updates to this. You might have seen it on the live stream, you might have seen it elsewhere. In the description down below, I'm going to add any relevant updates, okay? But if I don't realize that anything that might look or feel different about the way the weak ors or the UI is set up. It's actually just very easy modifications. I could help you with this personally, just make a comment, blah, blah, blah. But we have a lot to talk about in this video because uh, there's a lot more that I might have had set up than I did last time I recorded this. So the video that's been in the description for over a year now, been in the stream description and everywhere else on, on all the videos, that was my Legion setup. And uh, for the most part, not a lot has changed. I haven't really gotten rid of anything, but I did do some re tooling, uh, some visual updates. And one of the main things people always seem to ask about is this kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a texture pack for a while. It doesn't uh, really get a lot of attention, but I don't really have a clear answer on how to help people with it. So today I'm going to include that in this video as well. That'll be down below and maybe there'll be a description uh, or maybe there will be a um, explanation about what you need to do down there as well. But for today, we're going to mostly talk about my weak ores. About 95% of the purpose of this video is the weak ores. A lot of people say, oh, uh, you know, you used your UI is cluttered or whatever they say about my UI. But realistically, I use the stock UI. Okay, I, I don't actually have a custom UI. All I have is a myriad of weak ores, more like a suite of weak ores that give me all the relevant information I need. And, and the rest is kind of just there by default. Like, you know, you see the action bars. Uh, they're not really used. You see the health frame on the top left. I have the health frame a weak ore in the middle. So it doesn't look great because there's, there's a lot of extra information on the screen. But I'm just not looking at it. So I don't know. I'm not going to just delete it. It's not really needing to go anywhere, but uh, that's just kind of like a brief explanation. So anyway, just showing this now to show you guys what the weak ores might look like in progress. And now we're going to cut to a live discussion about these weak ores and hopefully uh, a better explanation about specific ones. And we'll go into detail about which ones I find to be most interesting. All right, let's now take a look at the actual weak ores in game. You're going to see a lot of stuff on the screen, but not a lot of it is very important. All right, I just want to go through every single one to give you guys the uh, best possible explanation of some of these. If you're just looking for the, the, the exports or whatever, the imports, then that's down below. You can check it out. But the first one we have here is actually pretty interesting. You can just find this anywhere. It's on uh, WAG.io, but it basically shows any casted ability targeting a player. I have two copies because I believe it's one of these things here. I don't know. I'm not actually that smart with weak cords, honestly, but I don't know. Well, one of these things has like a, a situation where it'll pick the raid frames based on priority. Number one is Voodoo by default. I use Voodoo and the standard raid frames just for helping the stream uh, see because my Voodoo is typically blocked by the camera. So I have two copies of this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to, I'm just going to link to the actual weak or itself. But anyway, uh, you can check that out. Blood Shield, uh, we have a timer and the actual stack uh, duration on it. This is very important. Tracking Blood Shield or Bone Shield is obviously extremely important. We have our standard CD group. Uh, if you notice from the last video, I updated a lot. Uh, made them a little bit smaller, about 75% of the, the, the size. And I kind of like increased their visual. They, they look a little bit better. Let's put it that way. Uh, we got button CD. This is a weak ore for the trinket. It only shows when the trinket is equipped, so that's pretty good. A lot of these, uh, you're going to see this a lot. I don't actually change the names of these things. I just, you know, I don't really care for it. I'll do it some, maybe someday, but I don't really care. Uh, pot CD, all, you know, basically all the important stuff is in here. Uh, the only thing to realize is these are both talents. If both of these are not chosen, then it's just going to be empty. I actually like that because then I don't get confused uh, or whatever, but yeah, maybe you guys will be uh, not too satisfied with that. Same deal with Bone Storm. If you don't actually have it selected, there's not going to be anything there. Now, the Cursor Weak Ore is an interesting one. This is one that I recently just started using. You can actually change the color and the size of it here if you really want to. I like the size it's at. It's 30 and 30. I think a lot of people use 50 and 50 uh, and then use like a white or a different color. But I, I really like the dark red. Kind of goes with the Blood DK theme. And it's a little bit easier to see. I'm actually debating changing it maybe to like a bright blue or something. I don't know. Uh, but I needed this week where I was just having a lot of trouble with my mouse. I don't know if it's like just, you know, BFA's, the graphics are more flashy. So maybe I'm having trouble more. But I was constantly misclicking 
Uh, yeah, I was misclicking the bars and everything. We also have a dancing rune weapon timer. This is pretty. Oh, what's this guy doing? We have a, a pretty important weak ore here. It's very useful to see with the eternal rune weapon, the Azerite trait. So on top of the actual progress bar that we have, we also have a, a num numerical timer just to show. We have the DK runes, which are obviously very important to be tracking. We have the. This is still labeled as blood decay rotation, but the actual rotation element I just have to never load. Uh, it doesn't work anymore as it is. If you guys know who Redfell is, I don't know. I used this for a long time. He's very good. Uh, he created a lot of great weak ores. I don't think he's in practice anymore. So, uh, one way or the other, I just have it never loaded. If you guys want to toy with it, maybe you could get it to work. I don't know. Another thing, my, the mind freeze thing doesn't work. I don't. I don't know what this even does. I don't think this works either. But yeah, anyway, mind freeze. Um, you, what it used to do was it used to show anytime my interrupt was available and something could be interrupted. And it doesn't do that anymore, so I don't know. But anyway, the main purpose here is these progression weak ores. It's going to show pretty much every major uh, progression that we need. Uh, Vamp blood, dancing rune weapon. Again, these are not actually named, but this is a bone storm. And this is blood for blood, which is just a PvP talent, which probably never really going to need to worry about, but just in case... Uh, yeah, so that's that. Let's see what else we got. We have the actual cooldowns, the, the minor cool, the, the like the small version of the cooldowns. We have one for pretty much everything major. We even have the CD just in case on the tank ring. You ever go back to WAD uh, for um, what's it called the time walking? Uh, let's see, Red Fella Blood Shield. Uh, this is a very good one, another Red Fella one. Very, very good one. It's you know it's just your typical standard bar, but one of the more important things that you might want to see on the uh, on the character's information window. Um, here's another uh, a spell flash. This is actually pretty good. It's uh, basically whenever a CD comes up, it will flash and stay on the screen. I believe it's for a second and a half or something. I can't remember where it would say that. But anyway, yeah, I think it's like a, it stays on the screen for like a second and a half. And that's that's pretty. Yeah, there it is. Second and a half. So that's pretty good. I have pretty much like every major CD that you would want. Maybe there's one or two missing. I don't really know. Don't really need it uh, any further than that. Uh, we have a runic uh, power bar. It's very nice. It, you know, again, using the same texture as I've used for everything else. Uh, Death Knight or Death Strike Heal prediction. This is a new one. This was made recently. Uh, I think it was made by the guys in the Blood DK Discord. So that's uh, you know, I'll credit to them. Whatever. Uh, but this is a pretty good one. I changed it so it's uh, not. It was like green or something. I don't know. It was odd. The default color was very strange for Blood DK. But basically, you just put it over your health bar, and it's going to show exactly how big uh, you know you could expect death strike to go so that's a really good one that's definitely one to want that you want to get you might not notice it on my ui all the time but it's actually really helpful to see exactly how much our health is going to increase after uh, a death strike and then this part this is probably the most important one i have honestly this is this is the single most important weak ore that i ever use it's the one i look at all the time pretty much constantly damage types it's going to show you the actual value of the damage you've taken and it's going to show you the type of the damage taken this is so 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 important as a blood dk guys like literally the most important week where i have so uh, if you're looking for anything i would seriously recommend getting this i'll have a link down below for you guys and then i have the hp bar it has the stagger thing but it's only relevant for monk just in case i ever play monk by accident maybe i'm drunk one night and i'm playing a different tank so i don't know it also has like an absorption function as the background blah 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 you know everything that you see there shows the percentage shows the actual hp and then uh that's kind of the overall and then uh, you know you could even add if you really wanted to add this uh dancing or no this um whatever death strike heal prediction you could just throw that in there uh you know just to keep them all together uh, let's see i don't know what that is obviously nothing uh procs okay here's this is an interesting one all right um why is it not showing everything Anyway, okay, so anyway, so here's, uh, this is a kind of a newer week or something that probably not is needed by a lot of people, but it is here. I'm going to put it in there for you guys. Uh, it's, again, a bit outdated. Well, it's really outdated. Uh, most of these are still from Legion, but the point is that they're templates that I can use in the future, and they're already all set up with the spacing in between, pro the proper spacing in between. So that's uh, that's good. I, I do have the a Razan Trinket tracked. I do have the Azerite Veins tracked. I was tracking um, Lingering Spore Pods when I used it. I don't use it currently. I don't have it anymore. But regardless, these are kind of just there. If you want to copy them, you can. And you can make, you know, you just change it. You know, Instead of Flames of Ruvard from um, Rift World Codex, change it to whatever you want in Legion, okay? Here's another really interesting and important one. I'm glad that this still works. Uh, basically, it just puts a little overlay over the Mythic Plus, um, whatever, like the the bar it, it shows you like kind of breakpoints on the bar exactly when and where 
you're going to need the, um, you know, like, it, you know, whatever. Uh, Angry Keystone shows an actual timer for how much time you have left, but this week or actually shows like a, a straight up uh, bar on the actual progression of the timer itself that will tell you exactly when and where you're about to miss the, the, tre the chest breakpoints. I'm not even going to include this. This is a terrible week or you can get a better week or for rune tap uh, and you're pretty much never going to see me use it anyway. This week or though, this is very interesting. I want I do want to show this off. So this week or is going to change the health bars color. Now I'm pretty sure this only works with plater. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about plater as well. I'm using the add on plater. I think it's one of the best add ons in the video game. It shows an incredible amount of information. Uh, as you're going to see, it shows my dots. And, uh, you know, if I stun the mob, it's going to show exactly how long. Stuns, CCs, all of this stuff is very important. You really want to be able to track this easily. And, you know, you might have used a week or four in the past, but Plater does it for you now. So, yeah, you could actually change all of this stuff, what it will show. Completely customizable add-on. It also shows, you see these numbers here, it shows the actual DPS I'm doing to each mob. It's... I don't know. I feel like it's a little finicky, but it's it's pretty neat. Let's see how. Yeah, there you go. So it shows the big upgrade there. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I would say uh, I would recommend Plater to anybody. But we do have a weak ore that actually makes a pretty cool little adjustment to Plater. As you see, it actually changes the color of the health bar, and I, I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you could totally customize this as well. I really like the blue. I like the purple, the green is nice too. You can actually change this to whatever you want. I have to get out of combat now to be able to open this again. But anyway, you can change this to whatever you want. I'll show you how real quick as soon as we drop combat, which is going to take a little longer than I wanted to. But anyway, it's a pretty cool weak aura. Another one from Naga. That uh, that guy really made some really good weak auras. Uh, I'm pretty sure, let's see. I think it's going to be, let's see, trigger. Must be here, huh? Hmm. No, it's not here. There's a place where you could actually change what the colors are that it changes it to. I just don't know where that would be. It has to be here, right? I don't know. Anyway, I was messing around with it at one point, but it, it's in here. You guys are probably better at this than I am. You'll find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's in the actions tab. So here you go. So these are just like the RGB values or whatever. You can change it and you put like a little explanation of each one, but... Um, yeah, I haven't really messed with it. Actually, on the beta, I changed the uh, the skull to be like a black one because I feel like white kind of overlaps with some of the other default colorations of uh, of Plater itself. But anyway, yeah, Plater plus that, really useful. I don't think it'll work without Plater, though. I have this kill timer thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to get rid of this at some point. It basically, it just shows how much time left until the mob dies based on like an average, and, and it kind of gathers your previous uh, data and kills and stuff like that. So that's kind of useful. Stuff is secret. I obviously you don't use this ability, this, uh, this weak or you don't use this weak or, but you don't use this legendary anymore, but you know, just in case it's still there, kind of the old stuff is still there. And same with umbilicus Eternus. This is actually a weak or that doesn't work anymore. Uh, even if umbilicus was still in the game, this type of value does not function. Uh, it used to show basically it was like a um, tracker for whenever, an absorb was on you would show the duration and the uh, the size of the absorb that doesn't work anymore i still have it for one important reason because i well two really i like the way it looks so just in case i ever want to make a similar looking week or i have that but i want to try to find a way to reverse engineer this situation because it this is this is the absorb size one here i don't know how to fix this but it does not work anymore and not only does it not work but it returns all kinds of errors even if it's not like, you know, as long as it's loaded, it returns all kinds of errors. So I don't know if anybody knows anything about how to get absorbed sizes to be tracked again on weak ores. Let me know. Otherwise, that's that uh, we have this um, rebirth cooldown thing. I'm not probably not going to include that. It's not very useful. And then the only other things I have here, we just have some more trinket trackers, but they're not going to be included because these are old as well. Just they're, they're going to be in uh, in the, um, the proc section now. Instead, these are just old ones. And then Hemostasis, this is an important weak or Hemostasis is one of the most important spells in the game right now for Blood DK, so you really want to be able to look at that and know exactly uh, when and where you should Death Strike. We have some other important ones. BFA Dungeons. This is actually a very important one, a very, very, very large one. So instead, I'm just going to uh, link you to the page that I found this on. It's probably a good idea to bookmark him because I imagine he'll update it. But as you see, literally every important mechanic 
Not a lot of important mechanics for tanks, but just mechanics in general that you want to be aware of. So that's actually better for, uh, yeah, for players like that. I still have this CC tracker. I, I don't think I'm even going to include this. This thing, it just doesn't really function anymore. It, it still tracks, uh, whatever. It still tracks Blood Elf, but it's not Silence anymore, so it's just not really as important. So I'm probably not even going to include that. Let's just make sure everything else. Let's see some uh, Taurus weak ores. We're obviously not Ularag weak ores. We don't need that anymore. Uh, rage for druids data text what is that oh yeah i have a weak ore that shows my loot spec don't need that anymore that's not going to be included don't need that anymore for bfa where everything can be gained as blood uh, we have some guardian druid stuff anything else just making sure uh, we have an explosive orbs weak aura. uh i probably won't include that it's not really needed uh, but anyway that's pretty much everything I'm, I'm fairly certain i think everything else is just for other classes so Anyway, that's that. Let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. Um, down below is going to be a description. Oh, this is the, the, yeah, okay. The Mythic Plus Interrupt Tracker. I'll, uh, I think this is the one we need, right? Anyway, I'm going to have a link to that down below. Again, the Wagayo. I won't have the actual export because it's better to just, you know, get it from uh, the source instead of from me directly. So, yeah, that's everything. Old, oh, yeah, some older ores. Again, not really something that you would ever see on stream, but they're there, so... You could look that up as well. But anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below again. Um, so just one more time, I just want to show uh, basically any progression or texture aura is going to have. Uh, and, and the way it's working is it's like a texture pack. Let's see if we can find a good example. It's a texture pack effectively for the game. You see how, how it looks. It's kind of smooth. Uh, it's Blizzard Raid Bar. So once you've installed this texture pack, which I am going to have, uh, you know, down below uh, in the description or maybe talked about elsewhere. Um, yeah, you just select Blizzard Raid Bars for the texture and it'll make all of this stuff look like that, which I think it looks awesome. I really do. I think it, you know, even Voodoo can use it. The default raid frames are, are what is actually being changed. So that will use it by default as well. I think it looks great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know. Pretty long video, but hopefully this is a, a more um, yeah, succinct way to do this. So Everything is down below if you guys want to export it, import it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So thanks for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.